Oh, there's no more apple fritter, huh? Damn. I got here too late. No apple fritter. Is it the most popular thing you guys have? Yeah. I had a feeling too, something told me. I was like, I should probably get there earlier. I'll take, yeah, I'll take a glazed, I'll take a vanilla frosted. What is this right here? This one? It's a Krona glazed croissant. What is this? This one. Oh, that's a maple uh, with the plum cake too. It's a caked one? Yes, sir. Oh, no, that's too heavy for me. I'll take one of these salmon sugars. No Did you need copy or sheet today? No, thank you. No problem, you have a good one. It's my Dunkin' Donuts. I want to just get one more donut just because I just feel so empty that I didn't get the apple fritter. But I'm not sure if the apple fritter is going to be what I get over here. We'll see. I also need like a coffee too just because I'm tired and it tastes good. Medium iced coffee. Premium and cream equals. So I'll do a vanilla frosted. Okay, you guys, so hole in one donuts. I'm super disappointed that I missed the apple fritter. That's my favorite donut. Oh, it's so good. You guys have no idea. Well, maybe you do if you've been there before. But we got three different donuts cinnamon sugar, glazed, and vanilla frosted. I got another vanilla frosted because I want to compare Dunkin' Donuts vanilla frosted to hole in ones. But even the hole in ones didn't look that good. It was like, the vanilla was falling off. Maybe I got it too late. That is Dunkin' Donuts vanilla frosted with sprinkles. I think I'm gonna eat the two vanilla frosted first to kind of make that comparison. But let's take a look at both vanilla frosted. First off, it's hot, so let's take a sip of this iced coffee. So Dunkin' Donuts is up first. Actually, you know what? Hole in One's up first because Hole in One's so good. I'm just so mad that I didn't get the apple fritter. What are you gonna do? That's good. Let's try Dunkin' Donuts. Hmm. I like the Hole in One more. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Mm. So next up is either glazed or cinnamon sugar. I'm definitely gonna go with cinnamon sugar next. Very basic. And finally, we have Hole in One's Glaze, which I've always liked. I don't know how many degrees it is in here right now. That's mm. good. You know what's funny? I don't like sugar in my coffee. I like getting equal. It just makes it sweeter. And I don't like like I don't like a whole bunch of like crystals at the bottom, which I think happens every time you get sugar in it. So plus there's plenty of sugar from the diets. So I'm gonna let these digest for like one, an hour to an hour and a half, and then we are gonna go train some legs. We got squats, love squats. Squats have been just feeling horrible lately from all the travel and just, yeah, they suck. But I think we're gonna have a good workout today and I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. Don't you just love when you drop your keys? So it's been about two hours since I had those donuts. I'm heading to the gym now. Um, instead of going somewhere post-workout like I would normally do, I'm just gonna, I brought all my food with me. I'm gonna share what it is that I'm eating post-workout with you guys. I mean, all the calories. So you guys can just see what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, not just, you know, a bunch of these fun cheat foods. While they are fun, I want you guys to get more of an idea of what I do because body composition, gym performance, um, and overall athleticism is very important to me. So I wanna share a lot more of that with you guys and uh, let me know what you guys think.
so we are done training. Post-workout nutrition, I love, love, love chocolate rice cakes. But what I love even more than chocolate rice cakes, where is it? Is chocolate rice cakes with honey on them. Oh, let me show you guys what I got. Plastic container so that I don't get too much crumbs and honey and all that all over the car. It's so sweet. So post-workout, normally I like to get like an easy digesting, fast digesting carbohydrate and protein source, low in fat, you want that fast absorption. Get it into the muscles, let it do its thing, repair, recover, that sort of thing. So I like chocolate rice cakes. Let's get some honey, honey on there. You gotta be generous with it, man. So we're gonna eat this first one. Mmm. Second rice cake. It is just too legit. Now when you're eating messy in your car, make sure you keep antibacterial hand wipes on deck. Cause uh, yeah, it's gonna be really messy. So next up is the actual meal. I don't even mind eating this cold. So I got, you guys can check it out. Red skin potato, okay, and 12 ounces of lean ground turkey. Ground turkey. Lean, 12 ounces of lean turkey breast. And it's cold. But it's really moist, so I'm cool with that. Okay, so we're not just gonna eat this plain, even though I could, I don't mind it. But it's even better with this, with this stuff right here, this sugar-free barbecue sauce. So if you guys haven't tried Smokehouse sugar-free barbecue sauce, give it a shot. It's like super low in calories and it tastes extremely good. It's legit. I brought my favorite diet soda, which is Diet Sunkissed. How many of you guys just love a simple meal like this? Like just a meat source, carbohydrate source, and just be done with it. Cause like literally, this is the most enjoyable kind of food. Probably because like from, you know, doing bodybuilding and all that contest prep stuff, I just developed a palate for this. I mean, prior to that, my, this wasn't my palate, but I just really appreciate the simplicity of this. And all I baked turkey with was literally just black pepper and sea salt. You can see it there. Just black pepper and only sea salt. That's good. It's the final bite. Give this video a thumbs up if you like simplicity, if you like foods like these. And still give this video a thumbs up if you don't like foods like these and you just like donuts and pizza. And did you want sauce? Chick fil A sauce. Yeah, thank you. So I somehow always wind up at Chick fil A. This is like the third video in the row. But I got, you know, the staple, staple meal, regular meal. Of course, I'm not doing I'm not doing the pickles. I did get the Chick fil A sauce, Chick fil A sandwich, waffle fries, which need ketchup. Leaking. Mmm. All right, now, now it's legit. Way better.
Chick-fil-A sauce is so good. I agree with, with whoever said it was a sin that I didn't use it the first time in the comment section. I shall never sin again. I just realized I didn't even take a sip of my drink. The Chick-fil-A lemonade is usually really good, but this is warm, and I can taste like the pulp in it, which I don't have a problem with the pulp, but it's warm. So I'm like, I'm not cool with that. There's a Cracker Barrel next door, which I've never had, so leave a comment below. Is that place good? Is that place bad? Chick-fil-A seems to just go by fast. Like whenever I go in there, I feel like I'm in and out. Like I order my food and I'm in and out in like 10 or 15 minutes, it just flies by. But let's get back to the house, unwind, eat some ice cream that I got at Walmart and call it a night. Hey guys, so we are back at the house. I did stop at Walmart prior to going to Chick-fil-A and I picked up this. Briar's Oreo Cookies and Cream Ice Cream, which I have never tried before. I was just gonna get Halo Top, but then like one of the dudes walking down the aisle in Walmart was like, bro, like, you gotta try this. You know what I mean? So, I'm gonna give it a shot. And I mean, it's, I have a feeling it's probably better than Halo Top. It's probably better than every single flavor of Halo Top for very good reason. It is full, oh, I was gonna say it's full fat, full fat ice cream, but holy cow, this is only 4.5 grams of fat per serving, which is not bad. Yeah, let's crack it open. I'm counting everything today so you guys can see all the calories. So I weighed out the Oreo cookie ice cream, 240 grams, four servings. So a serving is 60 grams. So that's what that looks like. This ice cream is very soft. And I said, screw it, I'm just gonna eat three chocolate rice cakes with it. This is really good. That dude was right, the dude at Walmart, man, good recommendation. If you see this video, thanks. All right, let's get some of this Oreo cookie ice cream on one of the rice cakes that has to be extremely good and extremely crunchy. Here we go. Mmm. Good. Okay, so I just went and grabbed honey because I remember when you put honey in ice cream, it is so good. And oh, it's so good, watch. So the honey from earlier, the honey is so good in ice cream because it like freezes and it gets like really gooey. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. Wow, it's so good. I like it. This one has a whole bunch of cookie dough. They said this one has a whole bunch of Oreo in it. Look. On another note, who's watching Conor McGregor versus Khabib? Who's watching the UFC fight on October 6th? On 6 October. I'm watching it with my homie Bearcat and my homie Nick Dompierre. Oh, it's gonna be good. I cannot wait. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Who do you think is gonna get? Who do you think is gonna get mauled in that fight? You know what I think is gonna happen? It's gonna go one of two ways. I don't think the fight's gonna be drawn out. I think, well it might be drawn out. I don't see it really just like, I don't see the fight being in like a gray area. I think Khabib is gonna get him on the ground and beat the pulp out of him. Or Connor is gonna land that piston left hook that he has and knock Khabib out. Other than that, I don't think it's gonna, it's not gonna be like a close fight. It's, it's gonna go like aggressively in one, one of those two directions. Hey 
got one rice cake left all by its lonesome. But it's okay. Because I take care of you, I take care of you. You guys, go and buy some chocolate rice cakes right now. Whatever you're doing, stop it. Get some of this honey and try this. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for coming back once again. Make sure you guys leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video if you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments on some places you guys think I should try. Again, I need to substitute a couple of places out. Give me some recommendations down below in the comments. Also below in the comments, let me know who you think is gonna win, Khabib or Connor. I got Khabib. See you guys in the next video.